Hi there, I'm Morten from Playful Synapse. Today I will show you how to make a randomized stone wall, like the one you see here. This wall actually only consists of, of uh, four different rocks. And you, you can see that I have scaled them in length, so that they are not all of the same length. And uh, I've also uh, randomly rotated them, so that uh, there should be very little repeating texture. And since this wall is uh, procedurally made, you can just change its appearance by changing the random seed. Currently we have random seed 0, then random seed 1, we will have a very different wall, random seed 5. And we can also change the number of rocks that we like here. If we want a larger wall, we can change the length. Currently it's 5 uh, stones in length. Let's put in 10. You can see that, you can see here now certainly a much larger wall and if you want a much higher one say 20 you can have that as well so these rocks i've got from the the downloadable project called uh, uh, effects cave i will now show you uh, just where in this project you can find them So this is where I got my bricks from. It's in the project effects cave, the demo project. And if you see here under uh, meshes and bricks, I've used uh, the brick A, B, D and E. The C brick is slightly distorted, so I didn't use that one. To create this random wall, it's useful to create a couple of functions, which will make the job a lot easier for us. First, we need a function that creates an array of random numbers. Quite obviously, this is used for scaling the rocks and also placing them. Next, we need a way to scale this array to a target sum. Because when we create this first array, we don't know the total length of it if we add up all the scales. So we need a way to scale it to a target sum. Then we need a way to calculate the placing of the rocks, because when we scale them, uh, it's not uh, obvious where we should put all the rocks to get them beside each other, so we will see a way to do that. And lastly, we need a way to uh, test that we are doing it correctly. So I will just make a simple function that will just uh, print out to the log um, all of the values of the newly created array. Let's get to it. So firstly, right click and make a blueprint from actor, that's good. And uh, well, you can see here, this is my old random wall. I'm just going to call it the new one random wall two to be very creative here and double click on it. Let's put it into the here like this. Now we need to start making our functions. Firstly, let's define some of the variables that we are going to need. We will need a float variable that I will call uh, mean minimum scale. This is uh, because we are going to scale the rocks and we want to have a minimum of the scale and a maximum. So let's also add the maximum max scale. We need, and these uh, variables should be editable. So let's just click on that one and make sure that they are editable. That's good. And we need a variable which should be an int integer on how many rocks long. Like this. And uh, let's also make one called uh, number of rocks high. Like that. Mm. Yes. We need a couple of other ones, uh, which should be um, afloat. This uh, I, I will come back to you a bit later, but it's uh, the the length of the rock.
that's the length of each rock and the height. We will set those values a bit uh, later. And uh, finally for now we need one more thing and this is a bit more difficult one perhaps. We need what's called a random stream because we would like to decide the random numbers that we are used that we are going to use. So click on variable type and uh, function random and select the random stream. Compile and uh, now I think we are set up to start making our first function. <laughs>